what is the ratio of the longest diagonal to the shortest diagonal in a regular octagon? It's a wonderful question. It's a, it's a tricky question. It's a good question to look at all properties of regular octagons. Let's draw this octagon. Say it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now, this octagon has eight equal sides. Each external angle, sum of all external angles in a polygon is 360 degrees. Eight of them, so each external angle is 360 by 8, which is 45 degrees. Each angle outside is 45, so each angle inside is 135 degrees. Each internal angle is 135 degrees, each external angle is 45 degrees. Now, I am going to join this diagonal AD, call these meeting points as P and Q. Point from B, if I drop a perpendicular to AD, it will be at P. From C to AD, we meet at Q. So this, if this angle were 90, then BCQP would be a rectangle. This is A, this will also be A. This is right angle, this is a right angle. So this would be 45 degrees, this would be 45 degrees. So ABP is an isosceles right angle triangle. So CQD. And so this would be A by root 2, this would be A by root 2, this would be A by root 2, this would be A by root 2. And so just I can we can slice and dice an, a, a regular octagon into squares, rectangles, and right isosceles triangles. Right? That idea is important. Right? A lot of questions rest on being able to break that up. A regular hexagon breaks into six equilateral triangles. A regular octagon will have isosceles right angle triangles, squares, and rectangles. Right? Right? Now I want to find the ratio of the longest diagonal to the shortest diagonal here. The longest diagonal would be from A to E. 1, 2, 3, 4th vertex from this side, 1, 2, 3, 4th vertex from this side. So, we want to find AE, the shortest diagonal would be AC. And we want to find AC and we want to find AE. And think about AC, if I draw this line, pardon my drawing. Now, AQC is a right angle triangle. I'm going to draw AQC separately. And so, C, Q and A. We want to find AC. This is A plus A by root 2. This number is A by root 2. So using Pythagoras theorem, we can find AC. And so this is A by root 2. This is A plus A by root 2. Using this idea, we can find AC. Now, how would we find AE? Very similar. Think about it. ADE is a right angle triangle. This bigger right angle triangle, ADE. This is A, this is A plus A by root 2 plus A by root 2 or this is A plus root 2A. Okay. All we have got to do is plug in Pythagoras theorem twice over then we are done. This is A plus A by root 2 and A by root 2. This is A plus root 2A and A. So Those two right angle triangles we pick up. We use Pythagoras theorem, find AC, Pythagoras theorem, find AE, we are through. You can just do this that little bit quicker. If you, if you can observe and pick one property, think about this. It's a little tricky to spot, but if you do manage to pick it, nothing like it. With this, this number into root 2 is this root 2a plus a. This into root 2 is this. So triangle ACQ and ADE are just smaller and bigger versions of each other. They're similar triangles. So if this were x, this would be root 2x. Remember, we don't need to find the diagonals. We do not need to find the length of the diagonal. We don't need to do that. And so, AE by AC is what we are interested in. AE is root 2 times AC or AE by AC is root 2. If we not pick this, you can still find square root of A by root 2 square plus A by A plus A by root 2 the whole square. Similarly, plug in Pythagoras theorem here and then find the ratio. That is still possible. That is probably the better method. The method that is more intuitive, that's what we would have gone for. Stick to that method. But if you can pick that this into root 2 is this, this into root 2 is this, then you're done. Then you know the third side will also be root 2 time. So this is a similar triangle. Two right angle triangles with the sides containing the right angle are in the same ratio. And the hypotenuse should also be in the same ratio. Done. Right. I want to think about one other way because a regular octagon is a wonderful figure. You can draw a circle around this entire shape. Or the circumcircle for that, for this diagram. Right. 
so that would be the circle going around this passing through all the points right? this ae would be the longest chord in this that circle or that will effectively be the diameter of the circle right? so think about it ae is the diameter ac and ce angle ace should be 90 was angle in a semicircle ac should be equal to ce we know that because ac and ce are symmetric from a the second vertex is c from c the second vertex is e so ac should be equal to ce so ac is equal to ce and angle ace is a right angle or it's an isosceles right angle triangle side should be in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to root 2 ae by ac is root 2 yet another way of thinking about it once you think about the circum circle and then simplify from there on the most important idea here regular octagon if you slice and dice it you get isosceles right angle triangles rectangles and squares a regular hexagon if you slice and dice it a regular hexagon is nothing but six equilateral triangles placed around a central point those two starting points are very useful for all of these questions